Hey guys, so I'm making a video on how to clean your brake calipers, but at the same time, I'm actually going to put these brakes onto a Nissan Maxima. This is the uh, this is the Akibono brakes. This is the one I purchased from a salvage yard. These are the Infinity uh, Akibono uh, four piston. But I'm going to show you, even if it's on or off the car, I'm going to show you exactly how to get it clean, and you'll be amazed. So I'm going to work it as fast as I can, so you guys don't get board okay and if it's on the car I'll show you exactly how to do it as well okay so the first thing you're gonna need is any particular brake cleaner now people say no I don't want to spray the brake cleaner onto the brake because it's gonna ruin the paint however you guys got to remember is that when they paint these things they uh, use some basically some good high temperature paint that's very uh, strong as in terms of any chemicals uh, that you'll spray on it or even the heat so just let me let me first start okay the first thing you're going to need to do is remove uh, the old brakes and so I'm going to do a whole building process on this hold on one second Okay, so basically I already took off the brake pad. I didn't want you guys to get bored with watching the video of me removing the brake pad. Okay, so basically I'll just take the brake cleaner and obviously just spray it off. Uh, both uh, the sides, as you see this one's a used, uh, used brake caliper. Just spray it off just exactly like that. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, so basically I've already sprayed it. You know, it really doesn't look clean right now, but you know what? Just let this stuff sit for a while. The magic's gonna come in a little bit. I'm gonna show you exactly how to get it very clean uh, when I put it into another chemical. Very basic, you got all these chemicals at home, all right? So now I'm in the house, basically I have a bucket. And you can do the same thing as if you were outside. Just basically take the bucket outside and put it next. That's if you haven't taken the brake uh, caliper off your car and you want to do it on your car. Same thing, just take the bucket out there too as well. And just sit it up there and put the uh, brake caliper into the bucket. What you're going to need, use this, use Dawn. Uh, it removes all the grease, okay? So basically put as much as you want in there. You know, it's all up to you. If you want an easier work, put exactly just like that. Fill it up with hot water. Hold on one second. Okay, so I've already filled it up with hot water. This is uh, not that hot, but it's hot enough. If I had a chance, I would just basically put, uh, I'll, I'll have to say maybe 40% boiling water and then the rest at a lukewarm and then basically just put the caliper in there. So... Uh, it doesn't affect anything because you got to remember that even brake calipers run in a hotter temperature when they're on the car than if it was if you were pushing it into uh, soaking water. So I'm going to do this whole build for you, uh, basically painting, removing all the scratches and things like that. So just let it sit in the sit sit in the hot water for roughly maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. It's an, it is all up to you. I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is when removing all the uh, brake dust and all the grim and grime. Yep. So I've taken the bucket outside. It's been sitting for roughly about 20 minutes because, you know, I got to eat uh, noodles, you know. So <laughs> I was just having some small dinner. Okay, so the, the water is very soapy. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to basically just pull this out just like that. And so it still looks dirty, right? Which obviously, yeah, it is. The water hasn't... Uh, the water hasn't changed colors, yeah? But uh, take a look at this because this is just the first process. And since I'm gonna paint uh, the calipers, uh, I'm just gonna, you could either use any side you want, but take a look at this. Look at that, look at that. Look at exactly how clean those become. Uh, we'll do this side better. Uh, hang tight, okay. So take a look at this. I'll, I'll use just the sponge side. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me try this. How's that? Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. So, it gets very clean, obviously. But if I use the Scott Brights, the the rough side, it gets even cleaner. So, that's just that. So, just spend some time with it. Now, if the caliper is on your car, you could do the exact same thing. Just take the bucket and just sit it as close as possible to, uh, you know, so the ba basically so the brake calipers can sit in there. But don't use the rough side. 
use the use the soft side and so this is this isn't done this is just the first process so I'm gonna show you that so while I'm cleaning this I'm gonna go ahead and stop it again because I don't want you guys to get bored but you all have an idea yeah okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stop it I'm gonna come back when I take this inside I want to show you the next process All right. okay so <clears throat> I basically have taken the brake caliper out of there and so if it was on your car guys just do the exact same thing just soak the caliper in the bucket next to your car if it's still installed so take a look at this so this is dirty right and so this is just the first process so just just basically clean it i i use basically this side because i'm going to end up painting but <coughs> yeah you, you saw that one the, how, how it removed uh, very easily let me see if i can find a, quite a dirty spot <coughs> Okay, yeah, let's take a look at this one. You see, I could just basically just rub off the dirt. Yeah, this one here, there's some some dirt there. I'm going to use this side. Let's see if I get that. Let me do this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, now, <clears throat> look at that. Use that soap. Use any particular dishwashing soap. I don't know if you guys can see inside there too. Yeah, still kind of dirty. Obviously, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this side here, you can basically just scrub it. Uh, but since I am going to repaint these, I'm just going to give it a good scrub. And then I'm going to show you, <clears throat> once I take it inside, the next thing to do to even get it cleaner than this without all this soap. Yeah, this is just the first process of it. Just scrub it. I don't know if you guys aren't enjoying watching me scrub this thing. <clears throat> oh, here, watch this. Oh, you saw that? Look at that, it comes off so easily. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if you guys could see inside here as well. It's quite, uh, it's quite dirty. I'm gonna give that a good scrub and this is just with home products first is the brake cleaner let it fight through all that brake dust and then let it soak in some very hot water yeah you could even have it boiling 40 percent boiling water and the rest would be uh, a lukewarm and just throw it in there uh, certain people will say no way those things are gonna mess up the seals but you know what the brakes when they're on the car believe me or not believe it or not they get hotter than the water that you just that you would have boiled yeah so it's just like that clean that up good okay I'm gonna do some cleaning and then I'm gonna take it back inside it's always good to have one of these too yeah. all right I'm gonna pause it and we'll go back on we're inside the house okay so I basically, the only thing I did was just the water and soap. So the first step was uh, the, uh, what's it called? The brake cleaner. Threw it into the hot water with the soap, scrubbed it off. And basically this is how clean it came out. It doesn't look clean right now, okay guys? But <clears throat> take a look, a lot of the, uh, even on the inside, how, how clean it's just gotten with just the soap. So if, if like I said, if it's stuck on your car, <clears throat> just, Unmount it, stick it into, uh, spray the brake cleaner on there, stick it into the hot water, and uh, start scrubbing at it, and it'll actually all come off. But I'm going to show you the last step to getting this thing very clean, okay? And so you guys will be, this is just the part one of actually getting this on the car, because I'm going to paint it, re I'm going to rebuild it, paint it, uh, I'm sorry, rebuild it, take off all the scratches, paint it, and then install it. This is gonna be going on the Maxima, Nissan Maxima 2014. This is the <coughs> Brimbo, I'm sorry, not Brimbo, sorry, uh, Akibono, uh, four piston brake caliper that they come on the Infinities and the Nissan 300, uh, 370Z. All right, okay, the next process I'll show you. Okay, so <coughs> now I'm in the house. And so, as you see, they've become quite clean. And so, like I said, the first thing you're gonna use is the uh, car uh, the carburetor cleaner. I keep thinking carburetor cleaner. You're gonna use the brake cleaner. 
spray it down, get all the major stuff off, and just let it sit there. After that, take the uh, brake caliper and soak it inside the soap in hot water. And so it'll absorb all up into there. I don't know if you guys can see inside the caliper as well. Uh, let me see if I get a flashlight. Okay, so take a look at this. Let's see if I get that. Uh, okay, so this is almost a little too bright, but uh, let me show you inside. Actually, see. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> so, bait. Oh, gosh. The, the lighting is not so good inside. Uh, let me see if I could remove this. Okay. Yeah. Take a look on the inside. Quite clean. Yeah. That's just using basic soap. Okay, that's just using basic soap. So you guys see I got some scratches here and watch after I start sanding it I'm gonna remove it and so then once once we actually paint uh, This is gonna completely come off Yeah, so I'm gonna show you the the last thing you're gonna need to actually uh, clean the caliper to Basically make it look really good. I'm gonna put it on wide lens now. Okay, right here. You guys go to Sam's or to uh, Costco. Yep, this is gonna. This is what you're gonna need: disinfectant wipes. I'll tell you what. These things are awesome. Uh, when I used it on the first time, just to try it, I was amazed. So I, I had to make a video and I had to share it with you guys. Okay. So basically, I don't know if you guys could see the the dirt. Yeah, there you go. Right there. I'm gonna switch up the lens. Okay, just right there. And just using this, if I scrub it quite some, it'll start to come out. And so even if it's on your car as well, just get one of these things, just start scrubbing it, and it comes off, it comes off real good. So, there you go, I removed it. If these are the real hard uh, brake, uh, break, uh, what's it called, the brake dust that's stuck into the paint or on the exit side of the paint and it comes off very easily. You see it starts to, even a little small piece inside there, same thing, just uh, brush it away, yeah? Even on the inside of the brakes as well, you know, every single piece you could possibly imagine. Uh, this here, I'll tell you what, it does magic. And so I just wanted to share that with you. Get this stuff for, uh, from Costco, use the home uh, dishwashing detergent, take the bucket, if the, if the caliper is still in the car, take the bucket uh, outside with hot water, hot water, okay, not lukewarm water, hot water, and just try, uh, take your brake caliper and soak it in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, whatever you think is reasonable. Uh, take the take the, the 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 foam and just start cleaning it off. And the last one is just to use this. And guys, you will be amazed. So this is just one of the first videos I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna walk it through from rebuilding, uh, rebuilding, sanding, and uh, painting. So if you see this one here, it's got a big nick in it. I'm gonna get rid of that through basic sanding. Yeah, and so. That's pretty much it, guys. So this is just the part one video. Uh, let me show you the other caliper as well, what I did to the rears. Let me go and grab that one. Okay, so this one's the rears. I was able to get this one very clean too, as, as you can see. And so that's the same process. Uh, brake cleaner, soaking it in hot water, letting it sit, using the, uh, the foam to clean it off. And last but not least, the magic from Sam's or from uh, Costco disinfectant wipes. This sucker here is strong, but uh, it's not going to harm your paint. Okay, some people say it will, but uh, I don't think so because these things are what high high temperature paint. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, and I'll come back to you with the next video on uh, sanding it down and rebuilding.